What's going on, Bears fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bears Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related. Listen, we got Bears football coming up on Thursday. The Bears have a short week. We're going to talk about how the Bears match up against the Washington Commanders, where they can take a bit of an advantage of, and hopefully, hopefully we see this passing offense continue their improvement. We're going to get to all that and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. All right, Bears fans. So first of all, I want to talk about the recent comments from the defensive coordinator, Allen Williams. Now, he was asked about the Bears' uh, slow starts at times, and he said, uh, and he had this to say, it's my job to get them ready to go early on. So it's completely on me, and I think the better that we play, the more confidence that we'll have. Uh, Starting off the second half, we are. I like to look at it as positive parts of it. The second half. Uh, that we're playing lights out football. And so we just want to make sure that we can move the second half into the first half, first quarter, second drive, second quarter. So I like the level of awareness from the defensive quarter. And I think one of the things that I can say for me that I kind of overlook at times is that we have a rookie head coach. We have uh, we have rookie offensive and defensive coordinators. I've said kind of before that I was surprised that the Bears didn't go with more uh, tenured uh, coordinators to support their rookie head coach. But nonetheless, here we are. And, but there is a level of awareness, and the Bears usually do come out on defense and play much better in the second half than they do first, generally for this team so far this season. So I do like the adjustments that's being made. We just do need to be better prepared early on. And I think, as I said before in yesterday's video, we have yet to see a, a four four quarters of solid football being played on either side of the ball in any game this season. If we start to get that, even if it's just the defense, if it's just the offense, if we start seeing a solid four quarters of football being played, I think that it is going to be easier to evaluate some of the talent. It's going to be easier to evaluate what needs to be fixed with this team. But to make second half adjustments is one of the things that we've been seeing since the preseason. And that does bode well for a coach overall. Yes, he's a rookie uh, defensive coordinator. We have rookie head coaches. All that aside, we know Matt Eberflus has been in this league for a long time, though. But they are making certain adjustments that we do see in halves to quarters, things like that. And it, it, it bodes well and says it's a lot of positive positivity around that. We just need to see it be more consistent. I would like to see it be more consistent going forward with this team. So we'll see uh, what happens to that. Hopefully we can get to the area of being more consistent. But let's go ahead and, and move this on. Let's talk about how the, the, the commanders and the Bears stack up when it comes to their offense and defense heading into tomorrow night's game. So as we know, the Bears are... Low in the, in the standings as far as when it comes to points per game. They we're 27th at 17.2 points per game. But the Commanders are only a little bit ahead of us at 18 points per game. They're 26. Our passing offense is ranked 32nd in the NFL, whereas the Commanders' passing offense is ranked 10th in the NFL, where they're averaging 252 yards passing per game, which is crazy considering how low their offense is ranked. The rushing offenses, we have the advantage there. We're ranked fifth in the in the offense as far as rushing in the NFL with 157 yards per game. The commanders are towards the bottom with 28th, at, well, at 28th with 89 yards rushing per game. And then total offense, we rank 31st. The commanders rank 19th. So this is a game in which our defense, and talking about, you know, Allen Williams saying that he wants the defense to be more prepared. They have to be better set early on. This is a game where you do not want to allow the Washington Commanders offense to get in gear early. You do not want to let Carson Wentz get in gear. You don't want to allow that to happen. If we can, um, with especially with Jalen Johnson returning, this is going to be a game where we need him well in. Jaquan Briss is going to have to show up. Hopefully we get more of second half. Kyler Gordon and Kendall Vador playing well in this game because they're going to attack him. And Carson Wentz is going to target Kyler Gordon early and often as we've seen so have to happen so much in the NFL season so far. The Commanders are killing it with the passing game so far this season. So it's going to be key for the Chicago Bears to come in and be able to be formidable in that passing game. Now, again, the bend don't break mentality. Are we going to give up some big passing plays? Absolutely. Could the Commanders have a lot of passing yards? By the way they've played so far this season, it seems like it's going to happen. But the things that we can take advantage of um, is that Wentz is interception prone at times. He has six interceptions in five games so far this season. So we know that the Bears have been good at getting turnovers. Jalen Johnson coming back, Eddie Jackson, um, uh, uh, Jaquan Brisker, Kyler Gordon. If we can get some interceptions um, and get some turnovers and turn that into into good field position for our offense, it can bode well. But you do not want to allow the Washington uh, Carson Wentz and the Washington Commanders to get in rhythm in their passing game because if they open up that top on us, it it can completely blow up the game in a way that we cannot get it back 
at all. Again, another one, Brian Robinson. Our rushing defense has not been great over the course of this season. It just hasn't, right? You, 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 we want to get in gear when it comes to that. We have to try to figure it out. Not let them ha- not let them um, run the ball over us. They haven't been a formidable running team, so at least that bodes well. Hopefully, it, pay- it plays into our strengths and our weaknesses when it comes to that. Our passing defense is thirty first in the NFL. Damn near dead last. We allow one hundred and seventy yards per game, uh, so we do not want to allow the Commanders, who already have a potent passing attack, to be able to come and find success running the ball against us as well. The Commanders are fourteenth. In, in rushing defense, and we know that is one of our keys, and where we're good at is rushing the ball, so it's going to be a nice balance of strength versus weaknesses in this game against the Washington Commanders, and so our passing defense, which is ranked ninth in the NFL, only averaging 197 yards allowed per game, we're going to need that that passing offense to step up big time in this game to, to take away the Commanders' strength while also using it to our benefit and not letting their weakness become a strength in this game. Um, their total defensive uh, efforts rank higher than us. Total defense, they're 17th in the NFL, uh, uh, allowing 345 yards per game. We're 22nd, allowing 367 yards per game. So we're going to have to get in gear. Now, the thing that else is a key to this game is the, the sacks. The Washington Commanders are 7th in the NFL with 14 sacks on the season. The Bears, we already know we're uh, we've only have eight sacks um, in so far in the season, but we've allowed a lot of sacks on Justin Fields this 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 uh, season so far. They are going to try to attack Justin Fields early. They're going to try to put him on his ass. And if we can, if our offensive line can step up and contain that pass rush to give Justin Fields some time, we know with time Justin Fields looks like a really really good quarterback. We're going to have to find a way to allow. To, to, to allow him to have time, they are going to try to kill Justin Fields, period. It's going to happen. They are about to try to kill Justin Fields, and if we allow that to happen, if we allow that to happen, this game is going to be over before it can really get started. We got to try to keep Justin Fields clean as much as possible in this game because they're going to, like, Jonathan Allen is going to try to get Justin Fields. If we can contain Jonathan Allen, it's going to bode well for us. Now, the passing attack, all those things have to be on for us, but that is one of the keys in this game is can we keep Justin Fields upright? If we can, it's going to allow us a chance. Keeping Justin Fields upright to where he can manage the game, I'm not expecting the the passing offense to have like 250 yards or whatever. I want to see a solid passing attack, mitigate the turnovers, Try to get no interceptions. We'll see what we can do with touchdowns, but move the ball down the field solidly. If it takes the short routes to pick up some yards at times it's going to that's what it's going to take that's what we're going to have to do we have to keep Justin Fields upright and we cannot cannot turn the ball over against the Washington Commanders in this game and another key in this game as well is like the running attack the running attack in the last couple games has been so-so if we can get back keep in mind this is playing into strengths if we can get our running attack going early going often uh, getting those big yards being consistent um, to where they have to respect the run and the pass, not pack in the lane against our running backs. That's going to bode well for the Chicago Bears in this game. It's going to take a lot. Listen, while these two teams stack up well statistically on paper, when you look at kind of the positives and negatives, things like that, this is a game that can get very tough very early on. When you look at the Washington Commanders being you know, so, still in the bottom half of the league, but not too far off from being middle of the pack, being ranked 17th, we have to find a way to attack their defense and to keep the ball, to keep Justin Fields upright, while also having the bend-don't-break mentality on the defense ourselves. That that ninth-ranked passing defense that we have is going to be a key in this game against the Washington Commanders, period. We're going to need, we we have to have a second-half Kyler Gordon from last game because, listen, he's going to be picked on. It's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. If our pass rush can also get to him, make Carson Witts uncomfortable, things change in that light. But it's not going to be easy. It's just not going to be easy. This is going to be a game where I think when you look at two teams that don't score the ball a lot, um, it's going to be. it may be one of those ugly games. We may see another game where the Bears are getting a lot of field goals. But I tell you what, if the Bears can take care of the football, if they can keep Justin Fields upright, if our rushing attack can be solid and the defense can play solid, that's a lot stacked up there. But that's almost what we need because their strengths play very well into ours. And so whoever wins the battle of those strengths is going to win the game. 
If we can contain their passing game, which is their strength on offense and our strength on defense, we can win this game. If we can continue to play tough against their rushing attack, which is our weakness, one of their weaknesses as well, we don't let that become a strength for them in this game, we can very well win this game. If we can keep Justin Fields upright, a team that is seventh in the NFL in sacks with the Washington Commanders, if we can keep them from getting to Justin Fields, getting a lot of QB hits, putting a lot of pressure on him, God forbid sacking him a lot, we can win this game. But it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be a pretty game. This is going to be one of those muck it up games. And hopefully we're not saying that we're the, we're the, <laughs> we are the ones that got mucked the hell up in this case. Just, this could be an ugly game for Justin Fields in the offensive line. How this offensive line stands up. Listen, uh, Musty got to get the fuck up out of there. Like this is a game in which Musty and what in the way that he plays, Sam Mustafer in the way that he plays can completely ruin this game almost single handedly for the Chicago Bears. We have to get this shit in gear. This is going to be a big test for the Chicago Bears and one that I think is going to be a bigger test than what some people are realizing just because of, like I said, the strength and weaknesses part of this game. Hopefully the Bears are ready in prime time to continue their ascent, ascent, to continue playing improved, to continue all the things that we've been seeing build up slowly with this offense while keeping a lot of the other things in, in gear. Like I said, it's it, on paper, this game could be a lot better than what it looks like. The, the Washington Commanders are one in four. The Chicago Bears are two and three. These are not teams that, by their record, are, are doing very well. But it's the strengths of the Washington Commanders that are going to, that could make this game an interesting game. The Bears are, are favorites to be in this. I want to say that they're clearly going to win this game. But when you look at the strengths of the Washington Commanders, it brings some cause for concern is all I'm saying. But I do still trust our team to be able to pull out the victory. We're going to have our uh, pregame show tonight live. All three of us will be on the panel in which we're going to be going over our predictions, get a little bit more into the weeds of the offense, defense, things like that. But let me know down below, what are your predictions for this game for the Chicago Bears? Do you think the passing offense is going to be able to have a big game? Do you think our defense is going to be able to contain the commander's passing offense? Let me know all that down below. Do you think we're going to be able to keep Justin Fields' jersey clean as well? But that's it. Make sure you're following the show at Shy Bear Central. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, Chicago Bear Central, gmail.com. Lastly, if you want to leave a text and our voicemail, the number to do so is 773-242-9336. We're the number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related because of you guys. And like I like to end everything on, bear down. Love you guys. Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of The Break, Break, Break Media. Media.